Jacksonville, hello and welcome to this week's edition of What's New Jacksonville. I'm so excited to be here today with Tim Calderella with Collins Builders. And Tim is going to be sharing with us um, some new innovative technology that they have come up with to really, really, really enhance the um, home building process. And I was super excited to hear some tidbits about it when Tim and I met a few weeks ago. Um, just a little bit about Collins Builders. They have um, been building here in Jacksonville, Florida since 2003. And I've been in real estate here since 2005. So Collins Builders and I go way back um, and they've always built a fantastic prod product. But I am super happy to hear about the real estate turn that they have made. So Tim, um, welcome. Thank you. Uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself and then um, we'd love to hear all about the new comings for the home building process. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. We, uh, we have a lot of exciting things going on here at Collins Builders. Um, I joined the company uh, not quite seven years ago um, with the intention of diversifying what we had historically done as a company, uh, which was Ashley Collins' uh, background rooted in the production world of the business. And uh, I came in with a background on the luxury custom side. And after about three years, the market started responding positively to our offering in the custom world. And, um, and today, that is exclusively all that we do. So uh, that uh, has caused us to evolve significantly over the past several years with our product, with our team, with our trade partners. Uh, we've made leaps and bounds progress to the point where most of our clientele uh, is building between 800,000 and 2 million. So we recognize uh, that uh, with new home construction, as has always been the case, it is often very difficult for clients to visualize what uh, their home may look like. Um, we have a broad diversity of architecture, square footage, styles, um, and so it opens up a lot of opportunity for the clients to be able to personalize their homes. Um, as such, we have instituted some new software as a company that allows us to do architectural design in-house in both 2D and 3D. Wow. Architectural design while they're building a house in 2D and 3D. Yeah. We, um... I feel like, Tim, that's like all the excitement with the pregnancy world. <laughs> you got to see, you, well, I mean, my kids, my oldest is 22 now, right? And I know what that, I know what that sonogram looked like. And now everybody can see the baby's facial features, you know, who the baby looks like. Yeah. I mean, this is so exciting. And, yeah. and it couldn't come in a better time than during a pandemic, I'm <laughs> sure. That's a great uh, So, I know you're going to share the screen and show us about that, but I just have one question that I was thinking about. Is this an at-home experience, meaning they can use this software at home at night, at 10 o'clock at night when they're looking at their plans, or do they need to be with you guys in the design center? Yeah, so it all starts with us. We're, we're unique here in the Jacksonville market. Uh, and have the luxury of being a design build firm, meaning that it's one stop shop all under one roof. Oftentimes a client is working independently with a designer or an architect and then working separately with a builder and trying to communicate effectively between the two. We kind of eliminate that gap and um, work with the client in house holistically all under one roof uh, that allows for very clear communication and also allows us to speed up the process a little bit. So, um, so we've kind of started uh, baby stepping our way into this process. 
We have recently started incorporating uh, 3D exterior designs to our pre-designed homes on our website. So that's the first place that um, prospective clients could go to visualize um, some, some of our concept plans and then specifically review what the exteriors of their homes can look like uh, in 3D. So what I hear you saying is that right now, or when I'm done today, or anybody who's watching can go on to Collins Builder's website and look at stuff in 3D for Absolutely. the, for the yeah. exterior. Okay. That's super, that's super cool. And Tim, um, what, is, what is your website? So it's uh, real simple, just uh, www.collinsbuilders.net. Dot net, everybody www.collinsbuilders.net. Okay, that is super, super cool. Um, and then when we were speaking, so you you guys, as far as you know, are the first builders to really be taking part in this technology as far as for the home building process? Definitely in Jacksonville. Um, there's some high-end uh, luxury architectural firms around the state um, that dabble in both commercial, retail, and, and even uh, some very high-end uh, luxury custom stuff, but we're the first one that we're aware of in the Jacksonville market uh, as a home building company to institute this software. Um, I mean, again, just like congratulations, kudos to you guys on being so innovative. Um, I know for myself personally, I have built a house um, before. And of course, with me being in real estate and helping um, buyers, that's probably one of the biggest things that is said out loud. Like I see it on paper, but you know, even when you're walking them through with some two by fours here and some two by fours there, they can't, how do you visualize it? You know, the, the wall is not up yet and um, it's hard. You know, a lot of people are visual, visual people. They need to see it. They need to hear it. They need to understand it. Um, but we definitely, definitely, definitely learn a lot, you know, by seeing it. So, um, all right, I can't handle the suspense anymore. So please share with me, um, and this is all over Facebook here on Facebook Live. So I think when you share your screen, everybody will be able to see it and walk us through, you know, uh, where you're starting and, and if, as if I was um, the home builder, I mean, the home buyer who's building with you and, and how I would um, use this tool. Um, while you're pulling that up, Tim, tell us, I see you're going to some communities while you're pulling that up. Um, tell us what communities you're building in right now that you have opportunities for. Yeah. So we build all over Northeast Florida. Uh, we've been engaged in, in practically every luxury upscale community in Jacksonville from Valencia to Queens Harbor to Pablo Creek Reserve. Um, we actually have a brand new home uh, that's getting ready to commence construction in Deerwood. Um, we, of course, are on the intercoastal and the river and all the other waterways around town. Um, what the thing we're most excited about currently is a brand new project. Uh, we're just finishing up development on in the next 30 to 45 days uh, on the intercoastal out on the Isle of Palms. Uh, it'll be called the Cove at Isle of Palms, and there's some great information about it on our website as well. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, and how many lots will you have in, in there? So there's eight to start. Uh, we just last Friday started uh, instituting lot reservations. Um, that process is already underway. Uh, we've had tremendous response extremely quickly as expected. 
Uh, and we expect the uh, lots to be gone uh, likely in the next uh, three to four weeks. Incredible. And no doubt, as we all know, we are uh, in a shortage of inventory. So no doubt and, and big congratulations. What do you expect to be the average sales price in the Isle of Palms? I know it depends on how big um, somebody wants to build their house, but what is your expectation? The minimum square footage requirement there is 2,800 square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, we think they'll go up to around 4,000 square feet um, with a starting price point around 1.2 million. And um, of course, clients can customize the lore, um, uh, could likely, based on the product, get up around the $2 million mark. But we expect an average kind of between 1.4 and 1.6. Um, there is a community dock, and each lot will come with a dedicated boat slip. Oh my gosh, that's great. Dedicated boat slip, wow. Um, and that seems to be the thing. Everybody is kind of staying in place and creating their own recreation. So um, how great will it be to be able to add a boat to that portfolio? Um, that's super excited. Now I have the million dollar question that I, I can't even believe it if you're gonna be able to answer. Yeah. So from signing the paperwork on the lot, how long do you think it'll take to build over there? If I wanted it. So we kind of break it down into two parts. We look at pre-construction, meaning the time that it takes us from contract to getting the building permit in our hands. Um, that in the city of Jacksonville is typically about three months. And then we expect, again, somewhat based on the scale and complexity of each project, um, around an average nine month build time. So about a year all told uh, for each, each home. That's great, that's great. All right, so I am seeing the Cairn Wood. Yeah. And let's see. So this is a cool new design that we just came out with last year. We've had the opportunity to build it once and we're getting ready to build it a whole different custom version of it in Mandarin here in the next few months. Uh, but as you scroll down the page, lots of great information about uh, the design specifically, uh, traditional brochure format with a layout of the floor plans. Uh, this one happens to have a video walkthrough because we built it before. Um, so tons of great information here and an opportunity to download and print and so forth uh, the plan itself. Um, I'm going to go to YouTube, to Collins Builder's YouTube page. And if you want a shortcut to just check out all of the 3D videos that we have, for the plans that are in place. They're all right here. They're all between 40 seconds and a minute or so uh, to view the exteriors. Uh, but this is a great sampling. So I'm going to show you the Mandrasa plan. Uh, the main reason I'm going to show this one is that um, Whitney, our architectural designer, is working in conjunction with Jill Britton, who's our interior designer, um, to place furniture and artwork and flooring and all kinds of interior details. And we'll be launching uh, the first interior 3D video concept for this particular plan in the next two weeks. Oh my gosh, that's great. That's great. All right. So if you just click on the video, drive down the street. Wow. Going in the driveway and coming home. <laughs> oh my gosh. And obviously with this, we can personalize color palette, landscaping. We can throw a pool and a spa in here, a summer kitchen, gazebos, fire pits, whatever the client's desire may be. Yeah. This is just super cool. Wow, that is just really amazing. So now, now that I saw that, I can envision what the interior is going to be like. Yeah. Um, so in a couple of weeks. So you know, um, those of you that are listening out there, what you can do is save this Facebook Live, and then Tim, um, when it's ready to go, let me know so we can post that link. That will be super cool to see the interior one. 
Of course, yeah, we'll launch it. We'll be launching a full blown marketing campaign in support as well. Uh, needless to say, the video will be added to the website and to YouTube uh, for everybody to see. Uh, it just really, we're excited about the opportunity that it's going to present for the clients um, and for us to be able to provide really that concierge service rather than just a traditional builder putting together the brochure um, or just a, a concept of a design just really lets us personalize it at a whole nother level. And it absolutely is. And it seems to me, Tim, that you and the rest of the team at Collins Builders has absolutely just taken the customer service level up several notches. And um, that's what the real estate industry, I think, is looking for. And, and I mean, what you just showed me, if I was moving here from the north or out of town anywhere, I am comfortable that I, I could do this. I really could. I mean, I, I could do this without having to make many trips down here. And um, what a peace of mind. Um, oh no, should I have chosen that? Or um, what, you know, what would this color look like in the room versus this color? Um, if I put a bench over here, you know, if we did the kids drop area over here, um, I love it. I love it. And a lot of plans, you can add a flex space. Well, if I don't want the flex space, what would the space look like without the flex space? Exactly. So um, that's just amazing. And, and thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Um, is there anything else about um, the home building process with Collins Builders that you'd like to chime in with? You know, I, I think the thing that really distinguishes us as a company, first and foremost, is the team that you have in place. We've just been unbelievably blessed and fortunate to have assembled a team of industry professionals um, who are experienced veterans, soup to nuts throughout our entire process. So as the clients work with me in initial conversations, um, you know, first and foremost, I'm a builder at heart and by, by trade. Uh, I came up through the ranks, and so I understand all the different components and, and pieces and parts that that, um, that go together uh, in working with the client to make sure that the design concept works, that we are staying on track with uh, budgetary restrictions, that the features and appointments are uh, specific and relative to what the client's needs are. So. It really starts there and then to have uh, architectural design services really sitting right next to me with the client to be able to accommodate their needs specifically with the design supported by our purchasing and estimating team um, jill our interior designer just a lot of resources uh, available right from the get-go to make sure uh, we get this and then of course We've got an experienced team in the field, our project managers out there that are on site every day building our homes um, are very interactive. Um, to your point earlier, whether a client is here in town or they're in another state or other part of the country, um, the anxiety is easily mitigated through communication and technology resources that are available to us today. That's great. That's great. Definitely focused on superior customer service. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to change topics just a little bit. And um, I would just like for you to share as far as the floor plans that you have developed. Um, I'm just curious um, in response to COVID, have you, um, have you seen that buyers are wanting a little bit less open than the crazy open floor plans of the last five years or so. Yeah. Um, and and what, are you, what are you really hearing from buyers on in that respect with two adults working from home a lot and of course, you know, kids, so. Yeah, it's a great question. I think more than even architectural design, what we've experienced, uh, we've always excelled uh, in the build on your lot arena for clients. Uh, again, whether that's waterfront properties or it's rural or it's uh, just trying to find an independent space to be able to spread out a little bit. That's certainly more prevalent. Of course, land is very difficult to find around Jacksonville these days. 
but that seems to be the client preference above all things in regards to what I would consider to be some of the repercussions of, of the pandemic. So um, we're definitely seeing that, seeing a strong desire for clients wanting to have property where they can have a little distance, a little space, and not necessarily be drawn to your traditional neighbor, neighborhood setting. Um, in regards to architectural design, um, it's the great thing and, it's, and one of the things that we as a company enjoy the most. We never build the same home twice. <laughs> and we each home is personalized to our clients' needs. Uh, and we have such an amazingly diverse uh, group of clients, even at the moment, you know, whether it's young professionals and families, whether it's retirees uh, who are building their final home, um, or first timers who are, uh, have lived in many homes over the years but never built new. Um, we always love that experience. So, um, you know, because we inherently personalize each home to our clients' needs anyway, um, I wouldn't say that we've seen a significant impact from the pandemic um, from, as far as an uh, architectural design standpoint goes. Uh, one thing that I would say, uh, really where we've been affected as much as anywhere else is simply that um, supply chain issues have started to impact us over the past several months. So we're having to order materials a little bit earlier in the process. We're having to finalize decisions a little bit yeah. earlier. Yeah. Well, great. Well, great. Well, thank you so much again for sharing. I am super, on behalf of the realtor community here, excited for you guys and can't, can't wait to see um, some of these finished products. Um, those of you that have been listening out there or might hear, hear um, have some time later tonight, if you have a lot that you already know about that you want to buy and build on, um, or if you want to look for lots, um, that is um, the first place to start with, um, unless you want to look at Isle of Palms. But that's one of the first places to start um, for Collins Builders. And as we know, it is a crazy seller's market out there right now. So things do not stay on the market very long. Um, but for more information on how to buy and build with Collins, um, please reach out to me on Facebook. And um, I'm happy to answer any questions. And then I will put you in touch with Tim. Awesome. Tim, thank you again for joining us today. It's always great to see you. Yeah, truly my pleasure. All right, everybody have a great rest of the week. Thanks for joining in on this week's version of What's New Jack.